Today, I'm gonna to talk about how you can level up your trading in 2023. I have made over $200,000 so far trading prop firms this year alone, and we are currently in the sixth, going into the seventh month within the year. There are still five months in total in order to make a lot of money trading prop firms. I use the Forex Funder, EA, MFF, FTMO, Funny Training Plus. I've got all of these funded accounts with other prop firms doing bi-weekly, weekly, sometimes monthly withdrawals, all into crypto payments as well, not even into the bank accounts. And these are the strategies and techniques I use in order to achieve big things. Heading into starting trading, when you gotta look for a pair, I only advise to use one, currency pair or metal the pair i trade is gold which is a metal i analyze the market back testing on the weekends lining up what trade i should take during the weekday and then i take action on it i have a trading plan in place so i don't trade straight away which means with my trading plan i have a set rule in place to not go over which means i can only trade once a week on my funded accounts and that is max once a week if i do make some profit i close and take the withdrawal therefore i get a payout plus i get the account back i don't try and look once i make profit look for multiple trades to extend my profit margins to higher equity i just take the profit and close out and go again the following week or month whenever the payout is due correct decision making is key in trading discipline having a great structure but also a consistent routine in place so you can focus on your good habits and not your bad habits. You will fail in trading at times, especially at the start if you don't implement a trading plan, which could be, like I said, one or two trading days in a week you can only trade. You can only take one trade. Once it's in profit, take your profits. Use 0.5% or 1% risk management per trade. And looking at your risk to reward, it has to be, you know, two to one and you take the 2%. You don't hold your TP or hold your SL. Holding your SL is probably one of the biggest reasons why traders fail their trading accounts. If it's live or funded or even a challenge, they overextend their SL, meaning they're taking further loss on the trade. And then it really does set them up for failure on the account. The more percent you lose straight away, the harder it is to get back. Your psychology can be affected in this too moving on to the psychology factor the reason why i take my profit early and then get my payout is because if i don't then i'm not making any money and it's important to make money than none even if it's one two three four k that's more than an average wage in the uk which means i'm winning at life knowing when to take your profit can be hard that's why on your training plan you set at two percent i take profit at four percent i try and stay away from news trading as well but if the trade's there to take i will take it news trading could be anywhere between you know low impact or medium slash high impact. The high impact can really detriment your account if you get the wrong way. So I advise not to do it. The reason for this is slippage. Slippage in the market, your trade could be heading in the right direction, but within a second of high impact news could be NFP, first working day on the Friday of the month in the US, payroll, your trade gets wicked out, pass your SL, causing slippage, making you fail your account. A lot of firms don't allow trading news, but if your firm does, this may not be a benefit. So in your trading plan, you have to check news every single day. If you're going into the trade, what's happening? A lot of traders won't even check the news. They won't even take the five, 10 minutes it takes to search out when it when it's happening or when it's even happening in the week. They just don't know because they don't take the time into it. When you're a trader, you need to make sure that you take the correct steps forward. Check news check risk management, check back test your trade to see if it's gonna come in or not or where your psychological SL is gonna be. Meaning you have an SL, but you have a psychological SL. So if you do have to break your trading plan and move that SL slightly by five or 10 pips, but that is a psychological level where if it goes anything below that, it should just be a straight sell. Sometimes you do get trading pairs where they'll wick out, but go your direction. However, they're trying to collect all the orders, faking the market and grabbing a liquidity grab. A lot of these things you can implement in your trading today and you can start by a making the correct decisions writing down a journal taking your trades what trades you've taken this week this month what's your risk to reward how much percent have you taken it doesn't have to be a funded account you can start the challenges for 50 off at checkout link in the description on the forex funder where you can really change your life and get funded there's people on there if you check up their youtube channel the forex funder they are investing 200 dollars and getting 10k payouts on a 25k account making over 20 percent 30 percent it's actually nuts how life changing it could be even for myself two three years ago eh, TMO, I traded a 200k account, made over $30,000 on the account. Got it up to 45k if I stuck to my strategy. 
I would have made a lot more money. But nevertheless, I took from the markets. You need to make a decision with trading how much you actually take and how much you're losing. Are you losing more than you're taking and what is the reasons behind that? Self-analyze, self-development is one of the keyest things in trading. As a trader, you have to be fully critical of your mistakes and you have to take action on the mistakes. If you're in denial of how bad of a trader you are due to your bad habits, the way that you're trading, if you're FOMOing into trades, which means fear of missing out, you're just entering into the trade because you don't think it's going to come to your entry point and then it actually does come to your entry point. But by that time, you have missed out and lost about one or two percent on the trade already and then you're going to have to get in because you weren't patient enough and you didn't wait for the setup. Many reasons behind what traders fail. All of these reasons are why traders fail with trading. They don't take the time and patience, too eager to get rich quick, making the silly mistakes and not actually taking step by step progressions moving forward. They're always taking two steps forward, five steps back. I've learned the hard way as well. I'm not sitting here speaking to you guys saying I was profitable when I first died. I was losing for about two or three years. 18 to about 2021 is when I really stepped up my trading and from 21 to 20 the self growth in myself as a person not even a trader but as a person has been significantly different to who I used to be and I will try, I'm always trying to become someone that I'm not and in order to become someone or not you need to take note of who you actually are and implement the bad habits and implement the good habits good strategies the way who you want to become in your day-to-day -day life and it will reflect on your trading trading is not for everyone but I do believe that anyone can actually trade and make money in the forex market there's a lot of people that are doing it and just because right now you are not in that financial situation where you are withdrawn from the markets does not mean that you won't in the future. I hope this video has helped you guys a lot and I do believe that if you take note on everything I've said, you will notice a big difference within the coming months. As I said, it's not easy, it takes time, but you will get there if you just do the correct steps in order to get better. Remember, if you don't self-reflect, you don't know where you're going wrong, and if you don't change your bad habits of where you're going wrong to making it right, you will never develop as a trader. So self-reflect, do that self-development, and get cracking with trading. Thank you for watching my content. If you are new, like and subscribe. I'm gonna be uploading a lot of trading videos. I will withdraw them from different prop firms which i'm going to show as well instead of doing the daily lives i'm going to take a bit of a break like that and do some trading videos training strategies are coming out as well and i just want to see all my subscribers get rich trading forex with myself the journey has only just started we got to enjoy the journey not the end goal as the process is the key point with anyone in life thank you for watching i'll catch you all in a bit peace